Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Make Your Mark podcast and I'm your host Kay Sutha. Now I'm super super excited to do this special segment that we're going to be doing where we're doing three months back to back every single week all about podcasting because this is what you guys have told me that you want. You want to learn more about podcasting because it's ever evolving and so this is what we're going to be doing for you in the next few weeks but also the reason we've decided to do this is because we're actually celebrating two things. It's double whammy this year. And so on the 21st of July is actually going to be our third year anniversary of Make Your Mark podcast. And again, I'm doing this segment to thank every single one of you guys for supporting us, for coming and listening, reaching out and letting us know what you want to know about podcasting. And the second thing that we're celebrating, I cannot believe I'm going to be telling you guys this, but my team said, go ahead and tell them this year in September, I am going to be celebrating the big four. Oh, that's right, guys. I'm going to be turning 40 in September. And again, because it is a double celebration, we wanted to give back by giving you all the information you need to know about podcasting. And we're going to be talking about guesting as well as launching your own podcast. And so... In today's episode, we we're actually going to be talking about video podcasting versus audio podcasting, right? And you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, Kay, are you going to tell me I have to be on camera? Well, I kind of am, right? Because we help business owners, entrepreneurs, coaches, speakers, authors, thought leaders to build their presence, right? To build their authority, build their brand, so you become the expert in your niche. And what we found out is the quickest way to build no like and trust with your audience is by showing your face because you are the face of your brand. And so when people can see you, not just hear you, it actually builds a no like and trust even further and a lot quicker as well, okay? And so, Today, what I want to go through with you is why you want to be able to leverage video podcasting, how you can leverage it, because at the end of the day, we know content is king, but being able to repurpose the content is queen, okay? Now, we don't want to have to put in more work than we have to. We want to actually work smarter, not harder. And so learning how to repurpose the content that you've already created and being able to be visible on a broader scale is what's going to push you further in your business, okay? It's going to help you build your authority. And when people start hearing about you, seeing you, reading about you, they're going to be wondering and they're going to be intrigued as to who is this person i need to dig a little bit deeper and that's exactly what video podcasting does now when you do video podcasting i don't want to be scared a lot of people are scared of the camera and it's completely natural but i just want you to be yourself and just talk about you know things that you specialize in the things that you already know about when you actually know something about a particular topic and you're very good at it and you've got the experience it becomes very easy but in my experience i've come to find as soon as you put a camera in front of somebody all of a sudden you forget everything and trust me it's happened to me i remember the first time i actually spoke on stage live stage and all i had to do was go to the stage and introduce myself. Just tell them where I'm from and what my name is. And I gotta tell you guys, I did that. There was a hundred people in the audience and I forgot all words. I forgot all words, including my name. So guess what? I just stood there like an absolute lemon. Yes, that's right. It happened to me the first time. I get where you're coming from, but with practice, it gets easier. And also, guys, when you start doing video podcasting and you're seen everywhere, guess what? You get to be seen as a speaker, right? And when people can see you speaking about your particular topic and they see you speaking on so many different podcasts, it's going to help you leverage your authority as well. And so going back to why you actually want to do a video podcast, right, or be a guest on a video podcast is because you be able to leverage it and be able to create snippets, right? Create snippets from the long form video, whether it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour long, and make snippets from them where you can actually post them on social media, okay? So now, not only with the host, 
be promoting you to their network and they're most likely going to be putting the entire video episode on YouTube but you can then be sharing it to your network too and what happens here is all of a sudden their network are going to see you, the host network, your network and you're going to be able to be visible on a lot more platforms, okay? Also, because you're going to be putting snippets on social media, you'll be able to get more leverage from it because not only are people going to see you on YouTube, but people are going to be able to see you on social media as well. And they're going to be intrigued. They're going to want to know, okay, what was it you're talking about? They'll want to go and listen to the entire episode, okay? But at the same time, it's going to be seen as you being everywhere, right? You're going to be everywhere, not only that. Remember this, guys, right? Your audience, they learn in different ways. Some people are visual people where they want to go and see videos. They want to learn from videos, right? I know I'm a visual person. Then you've got others who like to listen with audio, right? They like listen to audio books. They like listening to podcasts. And so they, they actually learn through listening. And the third way people like to learn, believe it or not, there are still a huge group of people that like to read, right? And so when you have a video podcast, right, and when you're actually guesting on a video podcast platform, you will be able to reach a lot more audience because people will be watching and listening to your episode on YouTube, seeing snippets of you on social media. Then they'll also take the audio form of that video and put it on as a podcast and create a blog for every single one of those episodes so it actually reaches people that want to read about it right so now what you're doing is you have the video the audio and an article a blog for them to read being able to reach a bigger audience right and this is why it's important to do video podcasting okay now if you are somebody that's really really terrified of the camera right the best advice i can give you is do it anyway, right? The only way you're going to start getting comfortable with it and the only way you're going to start getting comfortable as to speaking about your own topic on other people's podcasts is by applying and just going for it, right? You are an expert in your own niche. We just need to build your authority. And the way we're going to do that is by building your visibility, okay? Video podcasting helps you build your visibility so much more faster because you can spread it on so many more platforms. Forms. And let me tell you guys, you don't need to be perfect when you're first starting out. Ladies, I know you're going to be worried about making sure your hair is on point, making sure your makeup and maybe some of the men out there too. You never know, right? But you're going to be worried about what people are going to be thinking about you because, you because of your hair or your makeup. And let me tell you guys this, no one cares. Right? That might hurt some of your feelings out there, but seriously, no one cares how you look right? Whether you got your hair on point, whether you got your makeup on point, all they want to know is the content that you give them, how it can help them, okay? And if you can go ahead and help them, then that's all they're going to be worried about. They're going to be coming back to you for more because you've made a difference to them. And let me tell you guys, the very first one that you do, the very first podcast that you appear on as a guest, most likely will be the worst one that you do. Okay, but let me tell you, it gets better as you do more and more. And in fact, I remember um, I was actually speaking at a live stage in London and there was, there was about 60 people in the audience, right? So fairly big. And I was talking and doing my whole pitch. And there was this one gentleman that was in the audience. And in fact, he approached me months later after I, was, I did my talk in London. And he reached out to me and he said to me, he was like, okay, that event that you was at, I was listening to your talk and he goes, I absolutely love it. He goes, but I didn't purchase. So I was like, okay. And he goes, I didn't purchase because I wanted to see your previous videos. And guys, when you are appearing on a podcast show that is on video format and they post it on YouTube, right? It will help 
you rank right what do i mean by that now you may have heard something called seo right search engine optimization and a lot of people actually have ads to make sure that they come on top of the google page so people can see them um, and then they can get more leads now you don't need to pay for ads you don't need to pay for google ads because when you're appearing on other people's podcasts as a guest and then they promote you and put it out there it automatically helps you rank on Google, right? But not only that, get this, because it is video and you're gonna be on YouTube, right? Remember, Google owns YouTube. So now you are leveraging two of the biggest search engines out there, that's YouTube and Google, and it's gonna help you rank even faster organically without having to pay for any ads so the idea is to get on these podcasts video podcasts as much as possible so you can leverage both of these huge search engine platforms okay now once you do that not only is it going to get you ranked right and more of these videos are going to show up on google but people are going to start hearing about you. They're going to start seeing you. They're going to start wondering, okay, who is this person? And the more they hear about you, they're going to do their due diligence and they're going to want to do their research. Now, when people start looking into somebody, right, and they start doing the investigation and the research, where's the first place they're going to go? That's Google. So they're going to find your name. They're going to search for it and they're going to want to see, are you a legitimate person? Like, can you actually do what you say you do, right? Can you actually get them the results? And so they're going to start searching who you are, what you've done, all the different places you've actually appeared on. And this is not only going to help you build your authority, your brand, but people are going to start loving you for it as well. Okay. And you can do this all organically through jumping on people's podcasts and doing videos. Okay, I don't want you to be scared of doing video podcasting because I promise you this is going to benefit you even more. Now, video podcasting, right, can come in different formats. So when you're guesting, a lot of podcasts out there will either record the video beforehand, right? And some of them now are live streamed right, on LinkedIn, on YouTube, or all of the different social media platforms in one go, just so they can reach a bigger audience. And so when you are doing a live stream, okay, it's a very different kettle of fish here, right? Very, very different. Now, because when you actually are pre-recording an episode, um, things can be edited right things can totally be edited whether it's the postman that rings the doorbell if the dog comes running through barking or if the baby starts crying in the background whatever it is it can be edited out okay and again if it is pre-recorded right it does become easier because if you feel like you're going to be making mistakes especially in the beginning stages of your podcasting journey you guesting all these different things can be edited out all you need to do is have a conversation with the host and just let them know uh, some of them may agree some of them might be you know what they like the fact that it's natural that it's genuine and it'll actually bring more people because people can relate to you even more because you're not perfect people are not looking for perfection they're looking for people that they can relate to okay so i don't want you to be too worried about that the live stream now how you can be get prepared with this it doesn't matter how much you prepare right it, you can prepare for months on end when it comes to live stream i can guarantee you something will happen that is the least expected right you can prepare so much but because it is live stream things can go wrong okay just want to let let you know all of this because i don't want you to think that you're a failure that you're uh, if you make a mistake that's it is all and beyond all like you know a, a lot of people think that's it, it's over now when i first did my live stream i remember this right i was super super excited and a little bit nervous at the same time because it was my very first one and so as i got on there and it was live stream it's on linkedin and youtube and several other different platforms and you can actually see the audience in front of you right like and they're putting it in the comments like they like you or they you know 
um, they've they like some of the nuggets that you're actually um, sharing with everybody and because you can actually see them i actually started buzzing i was like oh my goodness this is awesome normally when you do a podcast you don't see the audience right and so that's one of the benefits of actually doing a live stream you can actually see them you can actually interact with them while they're on there and they're interacting with you and so as i got up there and started sharing my stories and giving them all these golden nuggets about podcasting I could see them in the comments saying how much they love the information that I'm sharing with them. And again, that was giving me the buzz even more. But like I said, things can happen. Things that are unexpected and things that no matter how much you prepare for, things will happen that you have no control over. And so then it happened, guys. I remember I was in the middle of doing this talk and my mum comes flying in, open the door and she shouts out, just to let you know, I've done your laundry and put your underwear on your bed. Oh my goodness. I just froze. I had no idea what to do, how people were going to react to this. And honestly, I just wanted the ground to swallow me up whole because I thought that's it. That's the end of my career. Nobody's going to take me seriously anymore. But guys, something else unexpectedly happened next. All of a sudden, the comments that they were putting were pouring in even faster. Now they were saying, oh my goodness, she's hilarious. I want her on my podcast. I couldn't believe it because at that point, I just wish I was invisible and no one could see me, right? And by the end of this talk, Right, once I got the courage to continue because I didn't know how people were going to take it, I got booked on another four podcast. And at the end, the host, the podcast host, invited me to come and speak at his three day summit because he couldn't believe the amount of engagement I was getting because of this mistake, right? But really was a blessing in disguise. And so because of that, I got booked on four more and spoke on stage, right, at a summit. So remember this, guys, no matter how much you think you've messed up, how much you think you have failed, right, in other people's eyes is not seen as a failure, only in our heads. Remember, we have our own perspective on things and so do everybody else. People perceive us a lot differently than what we do most of the time. And so I want you to go and make those mistakes. I want you to fail as many times as possible because when you use podcasting as a platform to become a speaker, to make sure that you are given the right stories, sharing the right nuggets, it's the best place to actually practice before you get on the big stages. And I know every single one of you want to get on the big stages. So use podcasting as the platform to build your speaker portfolio, okay? Because it's absolutely going to help you get there. Podcasting is a great place to make those mistakes because not only are you getting all these things out the way now and you're going to be building your confidence and you're going to be tweaking your pitch and your storytelling and all that good stuff, But it's also going to help you build your audience because like I said earlier, people aren't looking for perfection. They want to find people that they can relate to, right? People that they can learn from. And so the more you make these mistakes to everybody in front of everybody, right, the more they're going to actually love you, right? So use the podcasting platform. Make sure you get on camera. Get on those videos because you will build the know, like, and trust a lot faster. You will build your community and the raving fans a lot faster, which means when you're ready to get on those big stages, it's going to be so much more easier for you because you've built your speaker portfolio using video podcasting. Okay, now that's all I have to say about audio versus video. I want you all to start getting on podcasts, start guesting on podcasts. It's going to be the easiest way. 
I don't want you to necessarily start a podcast right now. We will be going into all of that in the coming weeks on the best way to start launching your own podcast. But if you're at the beginning stages and you're on your um, podcasting journey, the best thing to do is actually start guesting on podcasts. And don't be afraid of getting on video podcasts because of all the things I have mentioned in this episode that's going to help you elevate your brand, your authority, and you as a person, as a business owner, and the go-to expert in your niche. I look forward to seeing you next week, guys. Thanks for listening to Make Your Mark Podcast at www.makeyourmarkpodcast.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get this and every other episode that comes out. We have lots of great stuff coming, so make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss it. And thank you in advance for all the reviews and comments. I appreciate it so much. And I look forward to serving you in next week's episode.